for over a year, we've been talking about how Amazon were planning a Stargate straight to cinema movie. So why on earth would they now be considering changing that plan? Welcome to Sidetrack, your sci-fi TV and movie channel. So, first and exclusively, I dropped the news last week that Amazon is seriously considering switching from a movie to a TV series. Now, I've been able to get a few more sources telling me actually that, yeah, this is a serious possibility. That even though there's been significant work done on the straight to cinema movie they were planning, they're not at a stage where they couldn't just switch to a series if they wanted to. I'm actually being told that what they will basically do is rework the movie that they have planned and redo it as a two hour opener for the new season. That actually this project was always supposed to be part of a bigger franchise anyway. It's not going to be standalone. So it's actually not that difficult for them to do this. Now, I am also told that the decision was made last week, but we don't know what the decision was. They seem to be holding their cards quite closely to their chest at the moment, possibly because two days after their meeting, I dropped a video telling you about it. So I apologize about that. But why on earth would they be thinking about switching? And actually, what financial reasons would they have for it? Right. In the video where I dropped this news, we talked about the strikes. We talked about how it's given Amazon time to actually reconsider their options for lots of projects. It's given them time to actually look at what the fans want. It's given them time to look at metadata, etc. Hollywood, though, is also now a bit different. There is a different financial situation and a confidence problem. So, what you have to basically understand is that all of these decisions about movies, TV series, etc. are made by people. It's very similar to sort of how the stock market works. You have to remember, again, that prices go up and down in the stock market and it's about confidence. If the stock market loses confidence in a business, the price goes down and the company can go out of business. In Hollywood, it's a little bit similar. A project gets either greenlit or scrapped based on how confident the bosses are in their decision. And it would seem that the confidence in Stargate has shifted slightly. Now, I don't think it's necessarily decreased. I actually just think that they've realized that because cinema is different, that perhaps the Stargate movie wouldn't fit actually putting it into the cinema would be a big risk. Now, franchises in general, and we discussed this in the previous video, are doing badly. Marvel, Indiana Jones, DC, Mission Impossible, and so on and so on. People seem to have turned off to the franchise, or at very least, they don't go to the cinema to watch it. Because again, our viewing habits have changed and we tend to like to watch things on the streaming service that we're paying for every month. So when a big Disney movie comes out, why would you go to the cinema? I've got Disney Plus and it'll be on there in a couple of months. The viewing habits have changed. So I get the sense that there's a feeling from certain people and certain insiders have basically shared this with me to say they think over Amazon that a project like Stargate won't get a decent box office because people will assume it'll be on Amazon Prime in a couple of months. I'll watch it then. And even if they have to pay for it at home, it's a damn sight cheaper than getting a bunch of cinema tickets to go. It's like, what, £20 or $20 a cinema ticket? Or you can watch it on early release at home for the price of one ticket. All of you, the entire family. So it's a no brainer. Amazon seem to have realized this and are now maybe thinking that they either need to do a straight to Amazon Prime movie, which apparently is still on the cards, or they just do the series. A series that 93% of 1,300 voters on my channel say they want. We don't necessarily want a two-hour movie that's going to cost $100 million. 
We want 10 hours, 20 hours, 30 hours of a series. Now, don't get me wrong. I would have loved to have seen Stargate to the cinema. And I kind of hope they still go that way because I think it would be amazing. But if their confidence is shifted, they have a choice to make. They can spend what we were being told was around 70 to 80 million dollars on a movie, which actually then costs probably 30 or 40 million dollars more again to advertise and market. 120, 130 million dollars conservatively. Or they can spend what I'm being told is roughly about 50 million dollars on 10 hours of television, which they then basically don't have to spend any money marketing or at least very little because Amazon is basically one big marketing machine. They really wouldn't have to do much to get the word out because channels like Sidetrack will do it for them. So that's the choice they have to make. 120, 130 million dollars on a movie that they're not sure will make the money back or much less on a series they are confident will drive viewing figures. So what would you do? Now, for me, to be honest, this is a no-brainer. The fans, us gators, overwhelmingly want them to do a series. It makes sense from a development point of view because it's been off your screens for 15 years. And if you are doing a continuation, and we've always been told they were going to do a continuation, then two hours isn't enough time for you to fill in any gaps. It would have to be a standalone movie, and I'm being told it's not. So... The only way for me to do this is to do a series of television where you have the opportunity and you have the time to fill in a lot of the gaps that's happened over the last 15 years and to world build. That is why I think it only makes sense to do a series. And the people at the top at Amazon and MGM, they're not stupid. I actually think also there's a slight truth to something I was told by another insider that has actually just said that actually Amazon might not have quite realized what they had on their hands with Stargate. It has trended on Twitter or X or whatever the hell it's called this week, every other week for the last two years that I've been following it. We get really good views on our channel. Gate World, Dial the Gate, etc., etc. Still get great views on any Stargate video they do. There is a constant voracious appetite from gators for more information and more news and for more Stargate. I actually think Amazon were keen to do Stargate before because they saw the viewing figures from reruns of SG-1, SGU and SGA, but they never quite appreciated how much the fans wanted this. And now hopefully, if they have done, and the insider that I've been speaking to says they might have done, they've realised that actually they need to get this right. And the best way to get this right is with a thoughtful, planned franchise. A series to begin with, potentially then a prime movie that would be the culmination of maybe two or three seasons coming together. And then maybe in the future, when cinema is a little bit more predictable, maybe then Stargate returns to the cinema. I actually wonder what the future for cinema even is. And I really hope that whatever decision Amazon go with, they have the balls to follow through and they have the confidence in what is my favourite TV show ever. Get in Brad Wright, make a show that makes sense, and then hopefully one day we can return to the cinema. But that is why we think they are maybe reconsidering because of money, because of confidence in the market and because of the changing world we're currently living in. But guys, get into the comments and tell me what you think. Are you one of the 93% or would you actually love to have seen Stargate at the cinema? In a way, I was really excited about this because the confidence Amazon was showing in the franchise doing a cinematic movie it's quite staggering. Star Trek can't get a cinematic movie, but Stargate could. I quite like that. And hey, they still might do it. Or are you on the 93% of people that say, no, thank you very much. I want 10 hours, 20 hours, 30 hours of television.
I don't need a cinematic movie just yet. I'm actually leaning in the greedy area of I want both eventually, but we'd get a series on our screens quicker. And it makes more sense to do that first because you get the world building. So I'm in the 93%. Gives the series first. But what do you think? Get to the comments. If you are new to the channel, please like, subscribe, hit that bell notification. It really helps us out and you'll never miss any of our new videos. Also, you can go to patreon.com forward slash sidetrack where most of our new videos appear first and you get to see them without the adverts, you lucky bunnies, for just a small contribution each month that really supports the channel. And you can get a free gift after three months. Can't say fairer than that. Also, and finally, go to sidetrack.co.uk, which is our dedicated website where we do articles based on most of our videos, and we try to add a little bit more detail for you to digest. As always, please stay safe, and I'll see you next time.